While we have discussed the ideas of mutual authentication, in other words, the fact that the client has to authenticate to the server and vice versa, we need to understand how this mutual authentication exhibits itself in various protocols. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to show you one protocol that doesn't exhibit it very well at all. Microsoft's original CHAP had several problems. The first is that it only requires that the client authenticates itself to the server. The server is under no such requirement. Well, this was an automatic setup. There were many tools that were distributed on the internet that allowed an attacker to imitate a server on a Windows network. This meant that it could create what's called a man-in-the-middle attack, where it pretended to be the server, it would get the authentication information from the client and basically suck the password information out and be able to then use that password to gain unauthorized access to the system. So susceptibility to man-in-the-middle attacks is our primary concern when only the client authenticates and not the server. MS Chap version 2 fixes that. It requires both the client and the server to authenticate. Well, and to boot, it added some stronger encryption. Kerberos, of course, is the current popular platform and technology, both with Microsoft and with Unix-based systems. It requires every single entity in a network communication scenario to authenticate. It still has the possibility of having some man-in-the-middle attacks, however, and as a result of this, Microsoft extended the Kerberos standard to include additional parameters that reduce man-in-the-middle attacks. The downside is that unless your implementation of a non-Microsoft product also includes those extensions, well, you're not able to have that same level of protection. As a result, Kerberos and the chat protocols before it are how Microsoft creates and maintains the trust relationships we understand are so important to the play of Active Directory and NT domains that came before that. In other words, in an NT domain or Windows 2000 Active Directory forest tree and domain structure, the relationships of trust between the different domains, as well as the computers that belong to a domain, are built from mutual authentication.